Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gutex, and I'm here with E.G. Justin Wong, and today we're going to be covering how to whiff punish. Yes, how to whiff punish is something, a tool that like you can use in any matchup. Um, but right now we're going to use uh, Ryu versus Dalsim, mm -hmm. and this is pretty much one of like Ryu's worst matchups. So obviously, every character has like that annoying normal that you just hate fighting you know Ryu has like low medium kick or low sweep Dawson has a standing heavy punch that annoying button this button like guarantees you get hit every time like anytime you just hit you get hit by the first time but sometimes you just get hit the second time because you just keep throwing it out right Dawson will just do so just do like heavy punch twice like boom boom right that happens so many times no matter what even like even like the best like Ryu versus the best Dawson, you'll see that situation happen so many times. Um, but now, how to overcome that type of problem? You just have to kind of like see what the range of the normal. So like for example, like right here with Ryu, like the max range of low four is right here, right? Mm -hmm. Because of this is the max range, what you can do is you can just like do like standing light kick after it, right? You whiff, standing light kick, right? Yeah, see that? So. A lot of times that's like one way to whiff punish, right? But now, how do you fight Dawson standing fierce? Like, press standing fierce? See, look for the range, right? This is the main range right here. So from there, you see, when you differentiate the range, you want to try to smack it before it retracts. Boom, you see that? Boom, so easy. But you don't want to get too close because if you get too close, sometimes it'll just trade, like that. Mm -hmm. So you want to stay out of the range where your normals will always hit, like that. Whoa. Right? And you can do the same thing with a lot of moves, like that as well. Wow. So obviously everyone's seen the Daigo versus uh, Arturo, Arturo yeah. right? Classic. Where he does classic, when he saw the Fierce, he does low Fierce, super. Yeah. So that's one of the ways on how to practice with punishing. In training mode, you can do it against a lot of characters, like especially when you have like characters like Guile, that crouching medium pick, so annoying, you know. Uh, poison, standing fierce, uh, rose, standing roundhouse. You can always, once you understand the range and how to punish it, that will guarantee you another chance and taste of victory. So, uh, let's say that you're by yourself, you don't have a training partner, right? You would set the dummy to yes. record? So pretty much we'll take off human, we start out at stand. Mm -hmm. So there's an option right here called record. You record your own dummy opponents, right? The movement. So you can move around, and then boom, fierce. Mm -hmm. After that, you go to playback. And when you do playback, it'll play the, 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 the motion that you just did, the fierce. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do just regular fierce, like this, because it gets very repetitive. You don't want to do this. This is what you do not want to do. Because if you do that, it's very easy to be, okay, yeah, you could just see it. But if you do like, record, walk back, walk forward, and then fierce, then it gives you a, a much better understanding on when you think a real player will actually press the button. It's more realistic because yeah. a regular player is just not, a real player is not just gonna stand there and let you whip punish. He's gonna be walking back and forth, hitting other buttons. Yep, wow. pretty much. Uh, so in order to find the button that you're supposed to use, I mean, do you just start with, you know, let's say a standing light punch, or do you just go through all of the buttons and I, then see I, which one? I pretty much go through all six buttons just to see which one is the, the one that works best. Mm -hmm. Because pretty much you can always, pretty much you, there's a way to make all the buttons work, but what's, what's a better way to do it? Like say the crouching light punch will work, or can I do crouching medium punch, right? But what's the best button? Sweep, because you get the knockdown and you can close the gap from there after the dash. Mm -hmm. So everyone, there's always like multiple uses for different buttons. Every button serves a purpose. You just need to find out which one can serve the best purpose for you. Got it. All right, well, that about wraps it up, guys. Uh, so where can people go for more Justin Wong? They can find me on Twitter at jwong with three Gs, or they can follow me on Twitch when I stream, eg underscore jwong. And if you want to book a personal training session so that you can have one of the greatest players of all time coach you and help you step your game up, you can go to crosscountertraining.com slash Justin Wong. Peace out, everyone. Right, later, guys.